Yo, okay. so we got a problem with the milk. It's sour. I had make I had make like three chocolate milks for this girl, and they kept chocolate being milk. Sour. Yeah. With chocolate milk. Yeah. That's chocolate milk. I am in. What do you call it? Ex. Extrovert. Extrovert, right? And you probably not an extrovert. Probably not. No. It doesn't smell sour. It doesn't smell, smell sour at all. It does. Let's get other opinions. I mean, I'm gonna it's, drink it. I'm gonna drink it first, and then I'll give I you mean, my this, opinion. I just, So did you did you try any yet? Yeah, and I agreed. It smelled sour. It tastes good to me. Well, you should have other people try it. Well, here I'll finish my first glass of the first sour one, then I'll drink some more sour milk for you. We don't like fight or anything like. You know, I mean, the, the craziest is guess is like when we're both interested in the same girl and, you know, one of us gets her or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't smell like anything. Well, it smelled slightly sour to me, and I tasted it, and it tasted slightly sour. I mean, I'm just saying, and I know, I mean, we're obviously just disagreeing here on it, but, like, I'm, like as certain as I will ever be that that milk is absolutely fine and not at all, you well, know, yeah. undrinkable or anything. I'm like working with him and living with him, so it's a lot of Adam. It's a lot of Adam for anyone, I'd say. I just don't agree that it's sour. I would have served it to her, I would have said sorry, you know. But she Dude, can't, she have can't. You, have, you ever smelled, have you ever smelled Skim, skim Plus? Have you ever it smelled that? It smells slightly sour. There's, there's another one? No, this just has a good smell. This is actually just good milk, man. That's not a sour smell. That's that's a fat content, man. Sour is a way different smell, dude. That smells like milk. But it's. I'm not saying it's like sour and it's bad. I'm saying it's slightly sour. So if you I don't want know what that means. I've never even heard that phrase before. I'm not trying I to be mean, difficult. I'm just does saying it smell like. What does it smell like? Does it like smell milk? like sour? Does it smell like lemons? No, it smells like. No, it smells normal. It smells normal. I'm like a milk dude. Like I drink lots of dirty milk all the time. And like, well, that's this fine. one's this one's straight. I promise you. I'm promise. I think our personalities too, are our dy our dynamic is really important. You know, there was multiple times where we thought there was like deal breakers where this wasn't gonna work. They were just doing really bad business, so it was like, well, why don't we take over a failing business? Like, we haven't had any experience. Let's take over a business that loses two grand a month, you know, and try to make a lot of money. Like, it was just kind of a, it was a major risk. Like, we didn't know what was going to happen. We bypassed the whole seg segment of what restaurant business is supposed to be. We just bypassed it. We've never been like sitting down with like our hand on our head like, where is everybody? The word of mouth is ridiculous. I mean, it's just crazy. There's just no advertising for us. There's no signs anywhere. And yet, people know to come to Funkin' Waffles. And it's only because they tell their friends. That's just absurd. That's just, that's like an, an anomaly in this business. I mean, we've never even done what we love doing. You know, like, yeah. I love making music, you love making movies. I mean, there's really the potential to just have a freaking amazing film. You know what I mean? That, those are our fortes, and we've never even tried that. We, we went like totally backwards, and instead we like started a restaurant. It's a great idea to wear a black shirt and mess around with a white flower. I have to start really focusing here. Focusing on my work, not being distracted. We 
just started doing it. And then right away, people just started coming in and wanting to write stories or shoot us or do this and that. And it didn't even hit us, like, this is what's happening now. And like, you know, we didn't even change the signs or tell anybody, or the lights didn't even work. But uh, people started coming in. You know, like, Someone asked me today, they're like, they're like, how do, how do you guys know how to cook? Like, what the hell? And I'm like, we don't. We don't know shit. You know, like, I didn't want to tell her, like, we went to Google to find all these recipes. <laughs> like, you know, like, there's like a lady, you know, there's one lady for the buttermilk and the ultimate, you know. We, yeah. we, should, we can almost just, like, you know, give her 5% of our buttermilk sales because, like, it's her recipe. <laughs> we don't know the restaurant stuff. We're just doing it the way we think could be the right way and getting good advice, and maybe making it a little harder on ourselves than we need to. Okay, we gotta find the can opener right now. I've been looking. Joe. How are you doing? I just need to borrow a can opener. We, okay. we lost ours. Oh. Uh, if we, I have, we have the big one, not the small one. You don't have any small ones? No. Will the, small, will the big one work? Yeah. Can I just crack these open real quick? Yeah. We got them opened <laughs> at, at the Thai restaurant. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I could have let you in probably. <laughs> well, no. Next time, right? Well, yeah, next time. You know, we can't even like. I bought you a fish filleting knife today, and I knew I knew when I bought it myself. I don't know how to use one of those. I'm not sure anyone does. <laughs> but we'll use it. But we'll use it. You know, we'll get the tools, and we'll make it function. Big stuff. 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 I just think it's funny how much people are like. These are fucking amazing waffles. You know, Ari's trying to tell me. Ari's telling me my own brother. And he's a, he's like a smart aleck, sarcastic, you know, pessimist in life. You know, and, and even he's like, no, this is delicious. And like, and I'm like, That's what's I, crazy. I'm like, the I waffles. know, like, the waffles. They're just waffles. He's like, it's delicious. You guys make amazing food. And I'm like, I'm like, well, how can we take the credit for that? I think you and I, with an idea in our friggin' ability to make shit look sweet and comfortable and stuff. We can apply that to like tons of businesses. It doesn't have to be a little restaurant. It could be anything. You know what's funny? It's like everyone always jokes how we're like brothers or whatever. We could be like gay interior decorators and shit, you know? But like, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like, two brains are working together here and it's working. How come you get so much press? You have a hookup or something? And I don't know anybody else right now who would join me in this crazy shit. My plants are dead, you know, like, we haven't been home. What's that place? Like, they're just, you know, we've neglected so much. I have, I've lost base with, like, I went home and I was like, man, I haven't been home in two months. It's been, like, yeah. two months. What are you guys doing? Like, you know, life at home has changed. Like, all my friends, they've changed. There's huge things happening, and, you know, you just come up to speed on everything. And you're like, wow, I'm just like running this business. And they're like, wow, what is it, Funkin' Waffles? Like, it, it means something completely different to Dude, them. Dude, they don't even know. They, there's no way for like... No one knows. Like, my friends just came up. They know what a restaurant up. is, but they don't understand what it means to run it. Like, no one... Nobody knows. This is the uh, mess of bills and paperwork that I have yet to go through. I take it one milk crate at a time. What the heck? Where are the other uh, 12 pieces? 
No, I mean, I know Amy was making sandwiches for like everyone in the bands for some reason. That's, that's another thing, dude. We, we got to talk to them about all that. Um, I've already been hearing from people that like, you know, they, they come down there to see us like as like people too, you know, not just the food, but actually, you know, Kyle and I as a personality team or whatever you want to call it, you know, that's one of the reasons they actually go down there. Man, I fucked that up. You know, we have to rely on each other for more than just like, you know, emotional support when your girlfriend breaks up with you, you know what I mean? Like, best friends usually just have to deal with things that, you know, normal people have to deal with. When you're working with your best friend and you run a business with your best friend, it's like, there are other things you gotta deal with. You gotta, well, I guess in the same sense, like, you know, his girlfriend did break up with him in the first few weeks, and like, I had to not only respect that, but also call upon him to still be, you know, still do business stuff, you, you know what I mean? Like, and that's, that's something that someone else might not have been able to appreciate if they weren't his best friend, like, you know. They, they might have been less sensitive to it. Like, I was definitely trying to be as sensitive as possible to the fact that he was, you know, probably really, really sad or whatever. And, and he might still be going through some things about it. And I found some hair of my ex-girlfriend from her head on this shirt. <laughs> That's weird. I called her for the first time yesterday on my crazy day. She was saying how weird it was because she was like a big part of this, you know, and now she has no idea what we're doing. But Adam and I, you know, we've been friends for a while, so like things seem to go in waves for us and during the same time. Like, I started going out with her, like, over a year ago, and then Adam picked up a girlfriend, like, a few months later. You know, right now I feel like I'm just kind of fooling around. Well, I mean, I know I'm just kind of fooling around. She ends up breaking up with me, and, like, Adam broke up with his girlfriend a few weeks later. But the other thing is, like, we're, like, here in Syracuse, you know, students come and go. You know, you can't look for like a serious relationship in, in a student because she's just going to leave. People have certain needs. I was here like all the time. So, I don't know, but that's not that important. I mean, right now we got more important shit to deal with. Making this business work, make some money. should appreciate. Back seat, a trunk, those things pulled up. Oh, it's very foggy in here. Oh. 
and we don't have any customers. Wait, what time is it? 8 30? How you doing? Good. Good. Yeah, what's going on? Our business the, uh, was changing so much. We didn't have time to adapt to it, and spring break gave us time to adapt. It was a spring. It was a break. It was <laughs> what we needed. <laughs> I'm glad you caught that because that's like that's Kyle Korea right there. <laughs> that just that's that's like the essence it's, of Kyle. Kyle it's Korea. a very simple concept. <laughs> There's spring, there's break. Together, progress. From a spring break. <laughs> <laughs> Making changes and moving forward has been a process, you know, and it's been, you know, time can just can continue and uh, the days can just slip away, actually. Yeah, we used to talk about the grand opening of Funkin' Waffles, how we wanted to have James Brown come, you know, and Stevie, all like the, the legends, and come and open it. I mean, obviously it was just for a fun thing of that, but in a sense, like, you know, when James Brown died, it was a pretty, it was a pretty huge hit for us. You know, we loved him, and uh, you know, but that kind of just culminates to now where we get someone from his band to play. Um, you know, it's like, how, how big can we get on this little stage? We're just a little place underground, but we're having such a big name. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, we have concerts with, with a lot of people, but he's Fred Wesley, you know what I mean? Like, he is, you know, the horn arranger of James Brown's bands. Like, when you listen to what he did, you know, you're listening to a lot of songs that James Brown played. Like, huh. where's Fred? Maybe they didn't give him the, what's it called, credit like that. Oh, no, horn arrangements. Fred Wesley, just like that. Wow. That's what I'm saying. He's probably on, like, all of these, dude. Horn arrangements, Fred Wesley. Horn arrangements, Fred Wesley. Our walls are full of Fred Wesley here. We don't even know it. At some point, it started like click to me, like what was about to happen, like how monumental this this guy was. Hey. I, I remember talking about how we were gonna get like James Brown to cut the red tape at Funk Funk and Wobbles, yeah, that's you what know? Okay. So like Fred cut it for us. Yep. This is Kyle, my co-owner. If that could have been our 
If that could have been our grand opening, that would have been the grand opening, you know what I mean? But it was, instead it was like the grand, like, breaking it in, you know? Well, there's only one planet Earth, and there's only one James Brown, there's only one funk music ever to have existed, you know, like, having him in our space is like, legendary it's like a it's like a historical event when we brought fred wesley to syracuse and i've got the fred wesley and the horny horns album here too as well okay. yeah there you go like we served him fried chicken we served fred wesley fried yeah. chicken no good and herb fried chicken soul food classic monte cristo's got ham swiss cheese and eggs on it you feeling that one what you want fried chicken waffle yeah, yeah, we'll make it up for you. It's almost like that's the, that's the reason we carried fried chicken. Him and his wife were talking about it like like the next day. They're like, oh, you gotta get me that recipe. Woo, food is excellent. The waffles got some kind of some kind of magic in them, you know. <laughs> they were very good. Waffles and chicken is good. This is a real down place. This um, Funkin' Waffles is a great place to play, you know. And um, we're gonna try to fill it up with some good funky music and some jazz music also. People couldn't even get in for the first set. People were definitely very, like, would go up to me and Adam and just be like, you did this, like, this is you, like, you put this on. Yeah, it was you know? overwhelming, like, the... Uh, and that was, you know, people were, like, really happy for us. We didn't even have a chance to, like, you know, it was just happening before my eyes. Sometimes at concerts, I, or any kind of place, I get that feeling, like, it's, it's surreal, like... It's like they're, they're dealing with the energy. For you, yeah, right? it's like since the audience is all psyched, you're just like already like drained. And psyched. like you just sit back on the counter, the back counter, where no one can touch you or no one. It's your own space, and you can just see the whole thing. We're just watching it happen in our place. zero dollars and we're still the richest people alive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like just because we put this kind of stuff on, that makes us rich, you know what I mean? Wealth is like, it's whatever you want to call it, like you and I are hosting these events, you know what I mean? It's in our lives. Yeah, it's, 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 it's legendary. This is it, yeah. It doesn't matter how much money we're making, like whatever. It's about what we're doing. What we're doing here is hosting Fred Wesley tonight for free. Thank you very much. My, my brother drove up. I mean, oh, they've, yeah. seen, they've seen this place a bunch of times, but like, he drove up just to see this. It was Fred Wesley. Yeah, he was flipping out in the back. Yeah, he just he thought, was like, he you guys are doing it, you such... guys are doing it. Yeah, he was great. I don't know if you got him on it interviewed, but he was like so surprised on how far we came. Like, because he was there when he was just helping washing dishes. It was just like Adam and I, you know, and we just got started. We, we were like swamped with people. We hardly knew how to handle them. Like at first, we had like we got, nobody working for us either. We had no one working, and uh, they just had to help us. I don't and, even remember those times. I just remember yeah. piles of time. receipts and like no one, no names on them. There was a while before we even took took names, and Ari was there for that. Where we were just, I was like running around the room with plates in my hand, asking if it was their dish, if it was their dish. Oh, we, we got the dish wrong. It wasn't anyone's dish. I'm like sweating and freaking out. And you start sweating when you, you start, see oh like seven orders. We were just like, <sighs> and you just get stunned where yeah. you're like, this is not gonna get be fun to get through this. This is smoked gouda and herb waffles. <laughs> this past four months, we've just like grown. Like even when we painted Funkin' Waffles, after we got done painting it, we're like, oh my god, what have we created? Yeah. 
It was like, just through the painting. So exciting. It was the most exciting feeling I've it had. It was so in exciting. Oh my God. When the walls started to touch, when yeah. we finished all, the, all like the trim work, it we knew something crazy something, happened. We knew something I was I called happening. up my friends from New Jersey and it was like. Yeah. We didn't know what was going to happen, but like when we saw that paint up, for some reason, we're like, we created something we never we could have it. imagined. We knew it. We literally knew it once he finished painting all his walls. Yeah. That was it. It was like, shit. We found his tables. Everything just fell into place. The couches, everything. Everything just happened. Happened for the, for the reason that it should have. Yeah. yeah. So now we just have to... Just keep it up. Keep it up. Not lose keep track it up, of it. Grow. It's all about growing. This jaw harp's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I can play some jaw harp. Is that your jaw harp? No, I just found it. Just found it on the ground here. It's pretty filthy though. Or it's just rusted.